So we have a special treat. This is our 1999 Napa Valley Reserve Cabernet. Most of the fruit for this wine comes from the Rutherford Estate and our St. Helena Estate. You want to say a couple words? So uh, yeah, the Rutherford Estate and St. Helena Estate are, are pretty similar in terms of the soil types and, uh, and the locations. I mean, there's really Zinfandel Lane that separates the two areas. Um, as the valley flows, the, the St. Helena portion of the fruit tends to be a little bit more well-drained than the, the Rutherford portion. and so that uh, influences the time at which the grapes are picked and, uh, and the fruit in Rutherford uh, tends to hang longer than the stuff in St. Helena. Um, at this point in time, I was, I was a mere child in 1999. But, uh, <laughs> He's saying but that to try and the Raymond family, <laughs> The Raymond family, um, who planted these beautiful vineyards that we're sitting in now that we're discussing, um, was right at the forefront of, of viticulture in Napa Valley and, uh, and responsible for farming the fantastic grapes that went into this bottle. So the 1999 vintage is a stellar vintage within Napa Valley, uh, coming right after the 1998, which is a little bit more of a challenging year. For me, the 1999s have always been more of a tight vintage, and so this wine is 17 years old, and I would highly recommend decanting it for a short period of time, maybe half an hour. If you don't have a decanter, don't be afraid to use one of those Pyrex mixing cups. I know everyone has those at home. I've used those myself, but that really allows the wine to open up, and it's, it's, a, it's a stunning wine. It's a beauty really um, a lot of spicy red fruits. Think more like baking spices, like a, a strawberry, raspberry, rhubarb pie. God, I'm getting hungry talking about this wine. So I'm gonna go and drink this wine. Hope you enjoy. Cheers.